Okay, boys, another exciting episode. Today, we're doing three skylight removals and we're gonna fix some siding. Actually, let me show you guys the siding because that's gonna be the hard part. We have to cut the siding back and redo the flashing on this wall. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky. I call that the Peter Anton skylight. 46 inches by 46 inches. And Peter Anton is an artist that had that exact skylight. Great artist, by the way, in Westport. Nice guy. Anyways, enough about Peter Anton. Let's get to the skylight removal of this video. Let's run the time lapse. I think it's gonna take five hours. What do you think, Charlie? How long do you think it's gonna take? Four. What? Yeah. How accurate am I with timing normally? Never. Are we quicker or are we slower? We're quicker. I think it's gonna take six hours. Let's try to do it in five though. All right, boys, let's do it. First thing we need to do is remove the skylight dome. And that's, we gotta remove the curbs too because we gotta actually like literally make the roof flat. So he's gonna work on getting, there's like a little release clip. Let me see that. Oh, it looks like a little hand grenade pin for a skylight. No, you're good. All you gotta do is pull it up now. Okay, so. Okay, one skylight is pretty much off. Domes are off. Next thing we need to do is remove the wood paneling on the inside of these curbs. The only thing you wanna be very careful of is you don't drop any tools into the building because it'll damage the tile. So just don't let go of a hammer or cat paw anything. We're off to a good start. Charlie's just cleaning up all the garbage that we pulled out of this skylight. The next thing I wanna do is start cutting these copper curbs completely flat because we need a nice flat surface to start framing from. That's what I'm gonna do next. Say the skylights are out. Wow, everything's been remediated now. So I was going to cut back and get rid of all the copper, but then I was like, what's the point of that? This looks so much cleaner. <clears throat> so I switch focus here and we just cut them out with the sawzall. So easy enough. Okay. Now that's done. Charlie's just sweeping up all the tar before it gets too hot and then it gets big to the asphalt roof. The next thing I want to do is get those skylights framed out. We're on the ground and it's time for us to start framing. So I have my measurements because I drew them on my back of my uh, tape measure. And it's, we need to cut, we just need to cut some things. Let's just cut it. You know, I, why do I need to explain this to you guys? You guys already know. And your guys' skylights are probably gonna be different sizes anyway. So let's get to work, okay? Stop messing around, Charlie. Fuck. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna square off the end. Ah, the saws, I'm not used to it yet. Okay, piece is gone. Next cut is going to be a 43. So we're gonna mark out 43 there. We're gonna go ahead and square it. Square it. Oh, oh drop my square. I'd be pissed at you, Charlie, if you drop my square. I would be. I hate that. Okay, so. Saw's weird, like the guard doesn't want to pull nicely, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so this is how it's gonna be. We're gonna make a basic little tiny wall, for lack of a better word. Framing gun, three, three and a quarter inch nails. The only thing I don't wanna do is nail my own finger. That's the only thing I don't wanna do. Why is this two different sizes? What's going on here? Yeah, lumber's not perfect, is it? What can we do? Why is it so out of whack though? Okay, one nail. Here. One, two, three. Now four. Actually, I'm gonna put the center in real quick because that'll be nice for us to have that done. So the center's gonna be right, <laughs> right like that. Okay. Now for this side. Same idea. One, two, three. Make sure we put this where it's gotta go. Nice and square. 
Next thing I want to do is flip the box up. Okay. And I lost my impact. It's right here. Next thing we want to do is put four screws, one in each corner. That's going to keep the nails from pulling out when I'm whacking on the box to try to get it inside the hole. Doesn't really matter where you put them. One in each corner. Okay. Charlie, you might be right about that. Uh, well, us being down to four hours. Okay. Okay. That's one. We have to make two more because we have obviously three. So we have our three boxes built. It's time to cut our plywood. We're going to cut it down here because it just makes it a little bit more dust free off there, a little cleaner. So we're going to do it down here on the ground where it's nice and easy. So that's the next thing is to cut that plywood and get it ready to be secured, but not yet because we still got to mount the boxes in the opening. Now that we're back up on the roof and our boxes are built, everything's ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to secure our plywood in the, well, not our plywood, what am I saying? We're going to secure our, we're going to secure our framing into the now opening. So what I'm going to do first is I need those little tiny blocks. Here, hold that, would you? And give me four blocks. I don't have a hammer though, what am I going to do? Hope it's not yours. <laughs> Got it, and it is yours, you little bitch. Okay, you ready? So this is where the, this is where the roofing nails come into play. You know this is what this is for? Roofing nails, blocks of wood, good, bitch. Okay, so, block of wood goes right here in the corner. Okay, you know I'm doing this? Hate this hammer, by the way, just so you know. It's a curse to use it, but that's okay. I'll take that, you know, it's not a big deal. Fuck you, Charlie. Um, so I'm mounting these little blocks in the corner, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get spacing for our plywood. I don't want to mount the box too high or too low, and I don't want to measure it and hold something heavy. So we're just going to line this up with the top of this plywood right here, and we're good. Just like that. See how simple that was? It's called thinking ahead, Charlie. Try doing it sometime. But you, you do it, but like, you know. Bring your hammer. Damn. Damn, did you just say bring my hammer? Fuck. Dick. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, so. One more. And then we're ready. Okay. Just got a little tip of the tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, done. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple screws, right? No big deal, right? Nothing special. We're gonna take these pieces of wood and we're gonna mount one of them like this. Okay. You didn't see me just miss. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay, see that? Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. This one might be a little harder to do because it's smaller. We didn't think this through all the way, right? say we, I mean me. Okay. Okay. Now, make sure our gun has framing nails in it. Check. Okay. Now it's time to put the box in the hole. Let's do that. one nail like that. I'm going to work my way around and unscrew this block of wood that's actually holding up with this frame. That's about right. Okay. And this is just temporary at the moment. The nails I'm putting in. Actually looks pretty good. So, we could nail everything off if we really wanted to, but if we want to do a slightly nicer job, we switch our green bit, our T25, right? It's hot up here, huh? That is like 90 degrees. Hot. Yeah. I don't have two bits. <laughs> Extra prepared. 
See that, Charlie? Lessons. Okay. We got our T Dacty. Inch and uh, this is a three and a quarter inches by. I think it's like a 12 in uh, a number 12 screw. It's a big screw. It's a big chody guy, right? So we're gonna put that in here. Probably gonna go a little closer to the edge. I just don't want to crack the board. It's an RSS structural screw. I'm gonna put one in each corner. I'm gonna and then I can screw and screw it off the rest of the way. It's not really necessary, but it's nice. So two more. Real nice and clean. Okay. Now that's done. We can switch to 10 by three and eighth inch screws. Put quite a few in just to keep it everywhere. And then we can throw some plywood over our top of it. And we're done with that hole, kind of. Throw plywood on top, nail it all off. We'll get to the roofing portion of this. It's pretty strong, I gotta say. I think we did a nice job. What do you think? It's okay? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. So, next thing we're gonna do is throw our plywood on. One, two, three, baby. That's it. And then we can get it roofed in and then we can get to the siding portion of this job, which I think is gonna be pretty fun. Are we counting lunch breaks in with the four hours or are we not? Okay. Well, where are we going? I'm kidding. <laughs> how, how crazy that'd be. <laughs> Just straight through into the ground, be like, yeah, quit. Sorry. Leave the holes. Like, fuck it. Go out drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested anymore. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay. Oh, it hit my knee pad. There we go. Okay. Let's nail it down. And then roofing. Let's go. The next thing we need to do is dirt. Okay, let me show you guys the actual problem here. So there's a joint somewhere here. I saw it last time I was here. Okay, right here. So see this joint right here? Now there's no way that joint and the tar that's holding it together is going to be leak free for a long time. So what I'm going to do is pull the bottom piece of siding off. And this is like inch and a quarter or in one inch, true one inch beveled siding, which is very nice, very hard to get and very old. Um, so I'm gonna cut the nails, pull out the last bottom piece of siding. We're gonna reflash this wall and put the siding, well, hopefully back unless we break it. So that's gonna be my next step is to cut the nails with the Festool. And then uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Not exactly sure what to do after that. Let's see. Okay, boys, let's see if I can get it done. Okay, now that I got the siding removed, I'm now installing Paraflex 531 liquid flashing. And that's to transition the asphalt to the wall. 
that's where the tricky part is because everybody tries to find different ways to do it. I personally like using the modified bitumen to transition the wall, but when you don't want to take off the siding, the next thing you can do is put aluminum flashing and that doesn't work because the joints leak. Well, then you get to a chemical flashing like this, which is the 531 liquid flashing, and then that's pretty good. So here's what I did. I, I reinforced with a piece of fabric, liquid applied it down, but you're saying to yourself, Andre, it looks kind of dumb. Who wants that big white thing on the roof? And that's where I have a solution. So hold on one second, just stay there. I scraped like a whole roll just to get this much sand. So the sand that is or the ceramic granules that are on the roofing surface, I now have some of them. So we're gonna take a little bit of it and just sprinkle it in. Do you know what I'm saying? You feel me? You see this right here? Easy peasy, right? Hides it. We just keep on doing this. We're gonna broadcast it in there and let it dry. And this is gonna hide it a little better so no one knows that we were here. That's right. Yeah, you're like, oh, your boy Andre thought of all the little details. Yes, he did. Yes, he, yes, he did. That's right, okay. Charlie, grab a brush. Let's continue this all the way on down the line, 20 feet down. And then we're gonna install the siding back again so no one knows we we're even there. Check. We're in the home stretch. The siding is completely done. So it looks pretty good. Needs a coat of paint for the siding to fill the nails, but for what it is, it's not bad. I think it was okay. The liquid applied's done. That gives us that ability to connect from a wall to a flat roof. And it's seamless, it's monolithic, meaning it's one piece. And on top of that, it has 30% flexibility. So it'll never crack in that joint again. So the next thing we're gonna do is we have to now roof in these skylight holes. And what we're gonna do is clean the area really well, just get rid of any loose debris, like nails and stuff. And then what we're gonna do is put out our base sheet. So let's put our fucking base sheet out. No, I shouldn't say that. Let's put the base sheet out. Let's put the base sheet out. It's time to put the base sheet out. Let's just put the base sheet out. Let's get the base sheet. this cap sheet hopefully not get tar all over everything uh, it's gonna be hard though but what can we do so i laid out the base sheet and the base sheet is actually a mopping base sheet but we mechanically secured it and then i went around and i tarred all the edges or ed applied adhesive around all the edges to keep the smoke from going into the building when we start torching because there will be a little bit of smoke so now i'm just going to lay out my roll and line it up properly and we're gonna burn this one down and hopefully not the house at the same time. So I got two pieces I gotta do here, then I can do the next skylight. And then we are on our way to the brewery. Am I right? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Eyes are burning, the sweat and the sunscreen. Okay. <sighs>
Now I'm gonna roll back the other side. This is just the first burn down that's gonna get the material to adhere to the base sheet and a little bit to the old roof. But the real trick is how I do the seams because the seams are the most important, but also I'm trying to work where I'm not like just getting everything super hot, super heavy, and then it's like, you know, starts leaking everywhere and making a mess. It's hot out today, it's 100 degrees, so everything is a little bit more finicky, but that's life, huh? All right, here we go. <clears throat> That's it. We're done. How long did it take us? Four and a half hours. Listen, you're wrong, but we're both equally wrong. All right, we'll call it a tie. We'll call it a tie. I don't know who actually won. <laughs> and that's it, boys. That's the repair. Looks pretty good. It's hot out today. That torch got me, got me feeling some type of way. Oh, it's time to go. Let's just pack up and go. I think we're done here. I think we're good. What do you think, Charlie? It looks beautiful. I gotta give you a microphone next time. Anyhow, boys, till the next one. <laughs>